my babies, my babes, my wonderful darlings. How are you doing today? I love you so much. How are you doing? I love you. I know I just said that, but um, today, as you can see by the title and as you can see by what I just showed you, I am doing a pretty little thing haul. And this is not only a haul, but it's a semi big haul, kind of, I think. To some people, this might be a small haul, but to me, it's kind of a big one. Hello guys, I am holding my headphones right now because I'm not about to put them on my head. I look like a freaking weirdo with them. Like I literally look like like I'm a, from another generation. So, so yeah, I just don't like them. But I wanted to come on here to tell you guys a little bit about Pretty Little Thing and just let you know all about them before you start ordering from them. Because girl, there's a lot of tea. So uh, the founder of Pretty Little Thing is Kamani and his dad is actually the founder of Boohoo and they're both entrepreneurs. Kamani is in this business with his brother. I just want to let you know a couple of things about them. They're worth at least $400 million. Pretty Little Thing. Now Boohoo, that's a whole nother story. They're, they are worth more than $800 million. Boohoo, and I'm sure Boohoo has a bunch of problems just like Pretty Little Thing. But I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Pretty Little Thing because that's what I, this video is about. If you guys want me to do a video about Boohoo, I can totally do that too. Pretty Little Thing has been known to have chemicals and not just any chemicals, but cancer causing chemicals on their clothing. And it says in their terms and conditions, like way down at the bottom, it may have some chemicals, you know, that can cause cancer and birth defects effects from time to time like sometimes it has that so it'll let you they let you know by law they have to but it's all the way at the bottom of the terms and conditions nobody's gonna read that I know I didn't and I had no idea that their clothing could possibly have chemicals that cause cancer I know that will sway a lot of people's opinions and I really don't want to risk that it's totally up to you if you want to risk that I know that it Okay, sorry about that. Something happened with my computer. Anyways, what I was saying was I know the amount of chemicals that are on the clothing is very low. Low enough to possibly not do anything to you. So it's totally, you know, your decision. If you want to risk it or if you don't, that's totally up to you. That is that. They had chemicals and didn't really let us know about it. So end of that. On to the new topic. Pretty Little Thing is also known to relabel their clothing. I will, you know, of course, always show receipts there have been like many many people that have came forward and been like look at my clothing there is literally a fruit of the loom tag and they don't even barely like cut it off you can still see fruit of the loom and then they just sew their tag right on top of that fruit of the loom will cost you know six dollars for a pair of sweatpants they're charging twenty dollars so the reason why these people are worth 800 and 400 million dollars is because they they're charging us clothing just to put a little sticker on the clothing or sometimes they don't even put anything on the clothing they literally just resell it for double the price triple the price like it is ridiculous i am not spending another dime at pretty little thing after learning this and i wouldn't have done this video if i had known these things about them and i just want to pay it forward and let you guys know so that you know what you're dealing with and you know these things before you buy and put your hard work hard earned money towards a company i know for me like i want to put my money towards a company that is loyal and that you can trust i definitely don't trust pretty little thing after learning all this buyer beware you can do what you want with this information i just had to let you guys know all about pretty little thing because that's what the video is about i don't like to just not you know research you guys know these things I should preferably do it before the video instead of after now, but I guess it really doesn't matter to be honest. I'll do whatever videos. One other get. haul that's coming up that's even bigger than this one. And I am so excited for it. I have not tried on anything yet. I'm literally waiting for the last items to come. And this is why I get so excited, you guys. It's because I want to try on the stuff. I want to see how it is. I want to see how it looks. You know what I mean? But I have to wait until I film the video. I wait for you guys. I wait for you guys. Please don't mind the hair. Whenever I do pigtail buns, they manage to just get lopsided by the end of the night. And I just got home from Gaylord Texan. Um, if you've never heard of it, it's not anything about being gay i promise but anyways so yeah that was that and i'll explain that later 
Um, but let's just get into it guys. I'm really not going to have much of an intro. All I wanna say is I picked little pretty thing little pretty thing pretty little thing because i've not bought from them before and i don't know i love their aesthetic they're kind of like fashion nova honestly in my opinion fashion nova is just more expensive so it's like why would you go to fashion nova you could just go pretty little thing you know what i mean this is my aesthetic like look at their packaging happy holidays almost christmas merry christmas this is probably gonna go up after christmas so merry christmas or happy new year i don't know but I have so much that I'm working on that I just like don't have time to like do anything. Aww. So, most adorable packaging I've ever seen. I love it already. I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where. Should we start with this bag? Should we? Should we start with this bag? Okay, we're gonna start with the little bag. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry I'm talking quietly. My son is sleeping right there. Once again, because <laughs> I only have time to upload when I uh, and everyone's sleeping. So I'm gonna do these pair of shoes first. I'm gonna admit, I already opened these pairs of shoes. I wanted to do a wear test for every single pair of shoe before I did the haul to let you know how the shoes wear. I don't just wanna open it and unbox it. I wanna let you know the quality of them, of them and see how long they last. So unfortunately, as of right now, I have not worn these shoes, but by the time this video goes up, I will be wearing these shoes, I promise. These, I love these so much. You guys have no freaking idea. I didn't do my research. Hold on one second. <laughs> I didn't pull up the page. I'm back. Okay, so I've got it pulled up. These are the black wide fit zip back ankle boot. Sorry, that's like really small writing. This is the shoe size is size 10. I have big feet. I am actually plus size in most countries. Color black, quantity one, $22. They were, I bought them for $22. Not sure what they were originally. So, kind of weird, but um, yeah, so these are the wide fit. However, I've tried these on and they fit me so freaking perfectly. Thank God they're wide fit. I don't know what skinny fit is. Like these don't look that wide. You know what I mean? It's not that wide. So I absolutely love these. Wait till you see these on. These are beautiful. Shoes for $22 is unheard of in this quality. This is like Target quality or maybe even a little bit better. I'm like not trying to shade Target, but it's around the same quality as Target, honestly. For $22, like that's really good. Really, really good. I wore them around my house and no complaints so far. I absolutely love these. Like, OMG, these are... These are probably my favorite pair of shoes right now. One of my favorite pairs of shoes right now. And when it comes in, like they each come in a pretty little thing bag, the little shoes. How adorbs. This one is pretty little thing brand. It's twenty-two dollars. Pretty freaking awesome. If you ask me. What you doing, buddy? Grant. This one I was actually kind of excited for it too. This is the wasted black tie front denim crop top. I got a size six. I just went by the measurements, so we shall see if this is the right size for me. Sorry, let me just zoom in because they do this like so little writing. I'm like, I'm not blind and I can't do that. Okay. okay. Everything smells of like weird rubber. Okay. Okay, I feel like I can definitely pull this off. Okay, here you are. You're supposed to tie it in the front. It's got the little sleeves to it. Sleeves are long enough. Sleeves are long enough. That is a plus. I know my arms, I don't know if you guys know me or not, but first of all, let me chime right in. Hi, if you have not met me, my name is Chelsea. It is nice to meet you, girlfriend, and nice to meet you, guy friend. Welcome, join the family, subscribe below, whatever, 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 and yeah, let's move on. After my hair is like settled and looking like better, this thing is itchy. Okay, so yeah, if you don't know me, my arms are super long and a lot of these like Asian websites or clothing online or pretty much anything in store, a lot of the time does not fit 
my arms the way I would like them to. This one, it's a little bit shorter than I would like. I mean, it goes all the way down to my wrist, but you know what? We'll just actually see it on and see if it looks good on. Oh, this was $8, by the way. $8, not that bad for like a jean jacket shirt. Not bad at all, actually. Because if you were to buy something like this at Target, I, I just compare everything to Target, guys, because I'm there so much. Let's say Walmart. If you've seen this at Walmart, it'd probably be, I want to say like $15, $20. And it's not like the best quality. Like the buttons are just, you know, those little cheap buttons. And it's like kind of like a thin jacket material. But you know what? Hey, it's cute and hopefully it looks good. Oh, so treat me good. Color may run. I like how they tell you that. Okay, this is the denim crop top size six. So I got this in my normal size or normal size. There is no normal freaking size, pretty little thing. Grr, the sizing is just ridiculous. There should be measurements for each and every item, just like how there is on AliExpress or Wish. For a pretty little thing, there's only one measurement through the whole entire website and every single freaking piece of clothing is not going to fit. Oh, okay, so there's a couple measurements, but whatever. Anyways, I actually really like this. This outfit would be, once again, really cute with these shoes. I feel like I could totally pull it off. I actually don't feel comfortable in wearing this in this out in public. It's too tight and too showing. <laughs> it would actually look really cute with this for anyone that who would want to pull it off. I would probably wear this and this together with maybe different pants of some sort. I'm not really sure, but... I do think it's really cute. The model does make it look cute. Oh, and she has it tied, tied differently too. So she has it like a whole hole down here, but I don't know, I kind of, I think I like it better how I had it tied like that, but it's cute how it's off the shoulder. I really like that. And there's nothing bad I have to say about this for $8. I totally love this. I could also wear bodysuit to go underneath the shorts so that my stomach's not showing if I wanna wear it with jeans or whatever I wanna wear it with. So let me know what you guys think. I guess let's move on to the next item. Oh, you know what? I see also actually look good with these. You just never know. I don't know. You just never know. But okay, let's move on to the next one. So I don't know if I should do this next or not. Okay, I got another pair of shoes. These aren't, these aren't pretty little thing shoes. They are truffle collection. I don't know what that means. Um, fuzzy black PU. Oh, they are prettylittlething.com, but it's truffle collection. But they are the Blake Hiker Lysa Whatever. Size 10, $25 for these freaking cute shoes. And these are the ones that I did the wear test on. Look how adorable. They look kind of big in the camera. Well, I mean, I have big feet, but they are adorable. If you think these are ugly, I think you're ugly. I'm just kidding. You're beautiful. Yeah, I really like them. And I wore them today for a couple hours, like walking a lot and they have like one little crease in them right there, but they are comfortable because of this thick heel whatever you call it. Because of that, they're comfortable. They are not uncomfortable whatsoever. And um, the inside right here is like all padded. Like, I don't know, like really, really nice quality for $25, you guys. I haven't had this good of luck with like shoes in a long time. Maybe it's because I'm used to ordering off the Asian websites and Asian websites like always have like, they go two sizes down or a size and a half down and it never, it never ever ends up fitting me. But these fit me, yay! and they are approved ding these ones are approved by me they worn for a whole entire day no complaining whatsoever they did not hurt they did not rip they did not tear they did not wear after one day of wearing they are approved let's go on to the next item. okay looks like a sweater okay this is the adelaide blush off shoulder knitted crop Okay, so, so far, that looks a lot more pink than this. This is a, like a mauve tannish pink, I don't know. That's like a light baby pink, which is what I was kind of hoping for. Sorry for the noise, but that's okay. Ooh, it's soft. It's very soft, you guys. This was $10, 10 freaking dollars. 
oh my god the arms are so long look at this what the arms are so freaking long i love it oh my god i love it already it's really cropped sorry i'm wearing my i'm wearing my pajamas <laughs> But yeah, this is, I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't even care that it's cropped. I think it makes it cute that it's cropped. And you know what? I can't wait to try this baby on. The color wise, I think it goes good with me. Well, it kind of matches my skin a lot, but that's okay. It's okay. Can make it work. Just kidding. Anyways, let me stop being weird. Can't wait to try this bad boy on. I wish they give you like a freaking link to click on it. Like I hate that. I literally hate that. I can see my order, but I can't click on the actual item to see its normal price. Stupid is that. Anyways, I'll put it on the screen. Oh my God, the freaking sweater's $10. I'm in love with this sweater. How cute is this? Like, what? And I'm really glad that this sweater fits me. I don't know what I would wear this sweater with. I love the color. I love the fit of this. It's a size medium. I would say stick to your normal size. I'm a size medium. I would say, you know, stick to your normal size for this. I'm excited about this one. Okay, you guys, I'm excited. Okay, let me stop. I went by the measurements and I got this halter top in a size six. Okay, so I got a matching top and bottoms. However, I got the bottoms in a size eight. So we shall see if I made the right choice or not, but it is this cute little, what's going on here? Cute, oh my God, look how adorable this freaking crop top is. Oh my God. <gasps> Does it go with this jacket? Mm, mm, mm. I do have a black sweater, like oversized sweater that might look good with this. Look how adorable. Oh my God, it's so freaking cute. What do you guys think? Oh God, I hope this fits me. No, okay, maybe you should have gotten an eight. This looks very small. Please, please fit me, please fit me. Oh God, is it gonna be super short? Please don't be super short. It's super short, no, I'm kidding. Actually, it's not super short. I think that would be really cute. Oh my God, I'm actually really, really shook. This would be cute with like a black tank top like this too. Oh my God, I am shook. Can't wait to try this on. I can't wait to try this on. This was $8 and this shirt was $8. So together, $16. $16 for a whole entire outfit is not that bad, girlfriend. Okay, let's try this on. All right, what do you guys think of this one? Um, so yeah, this one's like really weird. As you can see right here, um, what is this? I wanna put it up right here because so it covers like, you know, my bra and all the stuff you wanna cover. You know, also you could have a tube top bra or whatever, but if you're gonna have any type of bra, you're gonna wanna cover it like right here. And like, if I move it up, it gets baggy right here. I guess you can tie it tighter, but you're only gonna be able to tie it so tight. Like, my goodness. Another thing I was thinking of, I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt underneath. So it covers all of that. You got a cute little short sleeve shirt underneath. And yeah, but for now, I just put an oversized chunky sweater with freaking pockets over top of it. And I don't know, I think it's really cute. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this to. I love it so much, but it's like, where are we gonna wear this? <laughs> I have no freaking clue. I'll show you it without the sweater in the back. The string is so long, by the way. Like, why are the strings this long? Anyways, here's the back. I like how it goes high-waisted. Yeah, on the model, she actually had it like lower and had more of her stomach showing. So you can either, you have two choices. Show your tummy a little bit more, but for me, I just don't know. Like, I'd rather not show my stomach, so I'll pull it up. I don't know, what do you guys think of this? Eight and eight. Do you think it was worth eight and eight? I'm not sure at this point, but let me go grab a short sleeve shirt and see what it looks like then. So for some reason, my white shirt's MIA, which stinks because I had a good idea with this one. I had good intentions. Mm -mm. I had good intentions. I really did. Like, no, just, just no, no, no. So I'm trying something else. 
Okay, so this one got a little bit better, but just pretend it's a crew neck. Like imagine if the white shirt was a crew neck, okay? I think it would look a lot better with the white shirt underneath. That's just my opinion. I cannot find my white freaking shirt that's a crew neck. My short sleeve, like it would look really cute. Just, just imagine it, okay? Like, does it not look cute? Okay, yeah, I know. I'm freaking weird, okay? But imagine this as an outfit, I think. It's cute. It has my stamp of approval, as long as this was a crew neck. Let's just go on to the next one. I'm so done with this. Okay. I'm dropping stuff. Don't even know what this is. If this is a dress, I'm gonna freak out. Oh my God, it's the dress. It's the freaking dress. Oh Lord, it's so short. Okay. Oh, this was a shirt. Look how tiny this is. I got this in a size eight, you guys. Thank God I got a size eight. Wow, whoa. Okay, this is the black high neck weird bodycon dress. Size eight, color black, $4. This dress was $4. I'm not joking you, $4. I just need a cute pair of like thick stockings I can wear with this, plus the boots. That'd be so cute. Let's see how short it is. Okay, it's actually not that short. I mean, it goes down to there. On her though, on the model, I feel like it's shorter for some reason, but this is adorbs and it goes up to the neck, adorbs. The one thing that I thought was weird was the whole armpit is sticking out though. Girl, you better shave your armpits that day because it goes over, but yet the armpit goes down like that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it goes down instead of just, I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. I don't know, <laughs> but let's try this on. Freaking ridiculous, dude. Smushed my makeup all over this damn thing. It is so freaking tight. Like, look at my freaking hair now. Oh my God, this thing is so tight. <sighs> Goodness gracious, that's all I have to say about this one, honestly. Oh my God, and my dealer stains are all over it now. What? This is so tight and I got a size eight. See, this is the stuff I'm talking about, pretty little thing. Ignore the um, deodorant marks. I'm gonna have to get those out somehow with a wipe or something. This is what I'm talking about, about pretty little thing. Not everything fits the same way. This is so tight. Like I should have got a freaking size 10 in this dress, at least a size 10. It is just so freaking tight. Like this is a no, where am I gonna wear this to? I love the style of it. I don't know if I love the whole shoulder thing, but see, look at my hair. It's crazy. I love the whole style of it. I don't know. But this needs to be a lot bigger. Like the beginning of the shoulder comes right here, like not even near my shoulders. Like what? Yeah, this is a total disaster, total no. Ew, deodorant marks. I'm gonna have to get this out for sure. I'm returning this. I'm returning hardly freaking everything except for the shoes. Like, oh, whoops. I love the shoes, but yeah, I'm just like, really, yeah, I'm gonna get this off, honestly. Do you see that? Like that freaking dress was so tight. It literally tore out a whole thing of eyelashes. Like, wow, that's so ridiculous. That was that tight. Mm -mm. That makes me so mad. Next item is very me. What? Well, looked like it was very me in the picture, okay? I am a pastel princess and I love my pastels. And if anyone knows me, you would know that. Um, I love my pastels. <laughs> Gotta love pastels. And I feel like this may not be many other people's style, but I saw the $5 price tag, I saw the purple pastel, and I said, give it to me. So, here's the dress. It's cute. Okay, well, first off the bat, I'm noticing it's very, very thin. Okay, I think it might be see-through. Well, in person, in the lighting, it's see-through, but to be honest, I actually don't think it's that see-through. Can't really see it on camera, but in person, like through the lighting, of course it's gonna be see-through because of the lighting, but hmm. I'll have to just wait and see and try it on and see if it's actually good to see through. USA 6, okay, that makes sense. I thought I got it in the US 10. So, and then you just wrap it around your neck. Okay, that looks a little bit weird. Um, <laughs> the only thing is the little booba booba pads don't look like it's gonna fit my boobies. But you know what? I was thinking, what if you wore just like, or what if I wore just like a, a short sleeve shirt underneath this? I think that would look adorable. Let's go. Try it on and see. Dang it, doesn't work if I don't get a snappy thing at the end of the next scene. Okay, it's not very 
not fitting at all. Listen, I actually really like this dress. I feel like you guys aren't gonna like it. Um, I also feel like it would be cuter with a crew neck. Why can I not find my crew neck today? I don't know. I do have one over here from that Romway haul, but it is too, a little bit too big. So it may have looked a little bit better with this one, but I don't know, it's just too big on the sleeves and I already had this one on, so it's like being lazy and yeah, we're just gonna go with that one. And I tied this a little bit too tight. Let me untie it a little bit. Okay, for some reason it's not untying. <laughs> That's lovely. Whew. All right, so imagine if it was just up like that. Obviously you can see the shirt and I wore black shorts underneath it because I wanted you to be able to see if it was like see-through or not. Can you guys see through it? I'll probably be able to see once I'm back editing this if it's actually see-through or not. What do you guys think of this? I have fuzzy socks on because it's calm. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think it's cute? Do you think it's worth the um, $5? You would need a, like a bodysuit, the ones that strap underneath the crotch, because obviously this is not gonna work. I guess I can try it on without a shirt underneath. Let me just do that real quick. the heat up in my house it is a lot warmer so this goes up here um yeah i don't know you guys they just uh, i liked it better with like a shirt underneath i honestly would probably only wear it with a short sleeve shirt underneath to be quite honest this is the back just the plain old back cute i don't know the idea is really cute but it's just not giving me the vibes that I thought it would. It's really, really soft too. Like I absolutely love this. If only it had come through how I thought it was gonna come through. But I don't know, I feel like a mermaid with this thing going on here. Like, I don't know, I kind of like it. Let me know your take on this, you guys. Is it cute? Is it not? Is it hot or is it not? Which one is it hot or not? Oh, no. All right, let's, stop. let's just move on to the next one guys. I'm sad because I really am torn. Like I'm torn, 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 torn. Let me know your opinion, please. Okay, I have no idea what this is. <gasps> I know what this is. These are the bike shorts. These are the basic black bike shorts. I don't know why I got bike shorts. I just got bike shorts in my last haul. I don't know what's up with me in the bike shorts. Uh, maybe I just kind of wanted some blank blame, some plain black ones. These are $6 and size six. Just some plain old black shorts. These are so comfortable. I mean, they feel so soft. Like, holy crap, if they don't look good, I am totally wearing these as pajama shorts. Cause man, or like just around the house shorts, totally worth it for $6 because they're so soft. I mean, good thing if they look horrible, I can still wear them like around the house and stuff. Ow. Nothing really else to say about this. Let's just try them on. Okay, I'm worried. Let me stop. Okay, here is the bicycle shorts. I actually am surprised, but I actually really like them. And I'm actually glad I got them because the other bicycle shorts I got from the wrong way haul, they were velvet. And I'm like, I don't know what I have to wear that like if i just want to like slouch in them and go out like in a sweatshirt and some boots real quick then i can you know what i mean i can't do that in those other velvet ones so here are the bicycle shorts i think they're really cute um especially with this, especially with um this sweater do you guys think it looks cute with this sweater i think it does i don't know if i'd actually wear this together but just slouching around the house for sure i would these bicycle shorts and these boots along with like a like a big hoodie slouch over um i think would look really cute i would totally wear this just out real quick to the store or whatever i gotta do run some errands i would totally wear that or going anywhere you know what i mean as add a little purse to it and then accessories and it makes it even cuter so i'm really glad about the shoes and i think that purple dress i just wore with the white sneakers would look really cute other than that i really don't have anything to match this sweater you guys i'm gonna have to go and look through all my stuff to see if 
if I have anything that matches. Don't know why I did that, but okay, let's go on to the next one. Ooh, I was excited about this one. I almost did not get this, okay? This is a leopard eye front romper. The reason I almost didn't get it was because I was like, uh, I know it's not gonna fit me, so I don't know why I'm getting it, but I got it anyways because I really liked it, and yeah, it was $13, and it was the most expensive piece of clothing yet in this haul, and I was like, why am I gonna buy the most expensive clothing yet that's not gonna fit me? But I thought a lot of you guys would like it because I love it, and if it doesn't fit me, you know what? It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. I can just sell it like I do everything else or just let it sit in my closet. <laughs> Anyways, this is a USA 6. I ended up getting the 6. I don't know why I didn't get this 8. That was kind of silly on my part. Ah, man, Chelsea, it's always better to go up. Damn it. I mean, dang it. Okay, well, this one has a string in it too. Is that like, supposed to be there? Oh, please do not remove unless you are satisfied with this garment. Oh, it will not. If that, if this little thing is removed, you cannot return it. Um, I forgot about the whole return thing. I just figured you couldn't return it. I mean, some, some of it won't even be worth returning, honestly, but anyways, it ties up in the front and it looks so adorable. So I just had to get it. Um, I wish I got the bigger size because I don't know if it's going to fit me, but how adorable would this be? Like, this is a really, really pretty color. Oh my God, it literally matches my freaking hair clips. That is freaking awesome. Yeah, I freaking love it. If it doesn't fit me, like, there's gonna be some problems. Like, no lie, there's gonna be some freaking problems. Like, I'm just gonna, like, punch myself in the face for getting a freaking size six. Please, Lord, oh God, please let this. Gods of the clothing, please let this fit. Um, okay, so I don't even know where to begin. First of all, how is this supposed to cover my boobs? This little thing right here, like how, what, what, what bra? What, 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 what bra are you supposed to use with this? Like what? I just don't understand. It is a really cute concept. I actually really think it's cute, but I'd have to wear a freaking like bralette. Actually, you know what? That would be cool if I could wear a bralette underneath. Okay, let's just pretend. You know what? All right, let me take my freaking shirt off underneath and see how it freaking looks. Because I have a bralette looking bra underneath here. What I do like about this is you can tie it as tight as you want. As tight as your little soul desires, you can tie it. Let me, hold on, let me raise this. Like, this is all cute. I've actually, okay, so I wish I kind of did get the bigger size. I can't, can't. I can bend real quick and be like, what? And like do the bend and snap. Bend and snap. Um, I can do that. <laughs> Yeah, okay, the sleeves are supposed to be up. Um, how is that so big on her? I just don't understand. This part is really big on her and it's up high. How? Like what? Oh, you know what? Her boobs are up higher than mine. Okay, that's why. It's really cute, guys. Like look how freaking cute this is. This is adorable, I have to say. Like if I was going to like a party and just trying to look all cutesy cute, I could totally wear this. But you can't move that much and your whole entire bra is showing. So that's lovely. I don't understand how that woman in the freaking photo has no bra on, yet she's covered up. I just, I don't understand. It looks like she has big boobs too. No, oh, maybe she doesn't. I don't know. I don't know you guys. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think of this? I think it's so adorable. Like at first I was like, heck no, I'm returning it. Now I'm just like, I don't know what I want to do. It's so cute, but do I need it? Am I ever going to wear it? Those are the questions I need answered. And I also need to know what you guys think of it. So let me know. Let me know. All right, let's go on to the next one. We've got another. Really thirsty. Dang it. So these shoes are also, I did not get to wear these yet. I only got to look at them and they look very different than the picture. 
So here is them, 360 of them. And of course, I will show you the picture on prettylittlething.com if I can find it. Okay, they're literally white. They freaking blend into the background. They did that on purpose. They so did that on purpose because they are very cheap. I mean, I love the whole style of the sneaker. I saw some at Target that were, didn't have this cloth material. It had some like a different thick canvas E clothy material that looked a lot better. And it was almost like a creamish color instead of white, which I actually really like. I think it's like harder to get dirty and stuff, but you know what? These are gonna have to do. I got these for $19. Sneakers for $19, like, okay. You know what? I'll freaking take it. This is all padded in the back right here. Really, really nice. They're actually kind of comfortable. They look kind of weird because I have like a collapsed freaking arch, but if you don't have a class art, collapsed arch and you just have like regular normal feet, like a regular arch, these might actually look really good on you just like the model. But with my collapsed arch, it goes like in like that, as you will see, as I will show you. So yeah, right now, these are my thumbs up but I'm not proving them until I actually get at least one day, full day of wear with these sneakers on. So I will come back with the results. This video of my shoes is going to suck because I'm getting out and walking to the feet. Yeah, um, let me talk to you later. I'm pretending to be on the phone right now so people don't think I'm weird. Yeah, so they can actually see my shoes, and um, yeah, I'm just like a weirdo, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Love you, bye. Guys, please excuse the way I look right now. Like, I look like a boy, a straight up boy. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna excuse the way I look right now, but so far, it is, sorry, there's a mailman that was like speeding out like towards me. Um, so far, it is a good mother freaking day with these shoes on. The Pretty Little Thing sneakers. I already got one compliment that somebody likes these. Oh, and I didn't mention before with the boots, I got a bunch of my family members that complimented on my boots, saying that they love them. And then somebody I didn't even know, like I don't think I've ever met her today at my son's daycare. She said that she liked the sneakers. So yeah, just wanted to come on here and tell you that it's been a good day so far with these sneakers. They are a little bit weird, but you know what? It's okay. It's totally okay, you know? It, they were $16 and I like them. Other people like them. Like, oh, there was a, is there a bumper. Oh, bumper to bumper. Okay. Um. All right, guys, I will talk to you in a little bit. Let me go get these cavities filled. I just want to let you guys know this is a really good case of why not to drive with your phone because as soon as I stopped recording I went and thought I was taking the wrong turn and I really wasn't but I quickly like wanted to go to the next lane to keep going straight instead of turn and there was somebody like in my blind spot so basically she pulled up as I was gonna like turn over so I didn't hit her and she kind of like veered out of the way also so that I didn't hit her I guess I don't know I really Really didn't it was so fast I didn't see like how close I was or anything but pretty much she was like I, I, I look over and I'm like oh my god I'm so sorry like I'm like sorry she was like <coughs> like that and just say like that like <coughs> and like kept looking at me and I was like okay and then she like went over in her purse and like started rummaging in her purse and just staying there and I was just like Okay, I don't know what she's trying to do right now, but I guess I'm just gonna go because it's been like a straight up minute right now Me waiting for her like to get something out of her purse And I think she was gonna get her camera to take a picture out of, of me So I was just like, okay, I'm gonna quietly like leave <laughs> so like I just kind of like kept going like awkwardly and freaking she tried following me and I was guess I was too fast for her so she just kept she turned around and I was like, okay, you know what? Like, people like this are crazy. I'm sorry. Like, I said I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Like, I wouldn't have chased somebody over that and, like, went like... <coughs> for, like, 10 seconds. I know that was a really ugly face, but I need to go now because I'm driving. And I don't want that to happen again. So, love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Is this the last item? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's the last item.
I'm just kidding. Okay, let me stop. This was a seven dollar denim skirt. And this is actually a dark wash O-ring belt detail denim mini. I got this in size eight. Some of you are gonna be like, oh my god, your style is hideous. But I actually just got what I thought was super cheap, what I thought you guys would like, and stuff that I like. I'm gonna get actual use out of. If I was gonna go and buy stuff that was so extra and so cute that I thought everyone else would love, I know I wasn't gonna get anywhere out of it. So I'm sorry, this haul was for me and you guys, hopefully. Here's the skirt, definitely looks better on the model. Doesn't look this cheap, of course. It's actually really, really stretchy. That's actually really good. Oh, the whole entire skirt is super stretchy. Do you see that? Yeah, that's the whole entire skirt that's stretchy. That's really, really, really good. I got a size eight. Um, I hope that fits me. Due to the nature of this fabric, some color transfer may occur. Please avoid contact with light colored clothes or upholstery. That's lovely. Don't touch, don't touch. Um, yeah, I don't like clothing that does that. No, uh-uh. I would rather just not buy something cheap that I know that it's going to freaking, you know, get all over my clothes in the wash or that I have to wash separately, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know if I, maybe I'd just rather not even do it in the first place. So, let's go try this on. Oh. Oh my god, this would have been such a cute outfit, you guys. I am sincerely pissed off. This is so adorable. I actually didn't think I would like it as much as I did, but it is so freaking big. I got a size eight and the tag says 12. So uh, I just don't understand. Like there's this much freaking room around the whole thing in the back. Like it should be tight like this. If it was tight like this, oh my god, this is the cutest freaking skirt ever, you guys. Oh my god, I'm so in love with this freaking outfit, you guys. Why does nothing have to ever fit me that I love? Like the stuff I love never freaking fits me. I had such good luck with Romway. Such good luck. Now, pretty little thing, I'm gonna tell you it's a little bit harder with their sizing because I feel like some of their stuff is different than other stuff. Why am I why am I talking weird? Some of their stuff is sized differently than others. I go by the measurements for all of the items. So I don't understand why if I go by the measurements, I'm sent something different. Like that's ridiculous. This is a size eight. Like it shouldn't fit me. <sighs> that sucks. If this is actually a size eight, then I would just need to go down one size to a size six. I fluctuate between an eight and a six. Like the leopard outfit is a six. It was too small on me. So I would have been an eight for that one. But the sizing for every single item is the same. How can the sizing for every single item be the same? The si I wouldn't trust their sizing on there, guys. I'm really, really bummed out about this skirt. I actually really love it. Like this would have made a really cute outfit that's, you know, appropriate for if you want to go see family, if you want to go to a party, if you want to go, you know, anywhere because it only shows a tiny, tiny bit of skin right here, and it doesn't show anything else. I am, like, morally pissed off right now. Why did I say morally pissed off? <laughs> I can't even talk, I'm so mad. Why did this happen to me? Alright, I'm just moving on to the next one. Okay, so I just took out my um, buns and left them in the pigtails. I don't care if I look like a freak freaking two-year-old or a freaking general whatever ow i'm just so like disappointed in this haul you guys i don't know the romway haul like got me shook and i loved everything in that haul i definitely probably won't be ordering from pretty little things again unless it's for clearance and shoes because i keep losing eyelashes after i just took that dress off and they are extensions so they're not just like individuals i glued on myself like i got them done and they keep falling out after that dress so like no thank you There's a select couple of things that I actually really liked. One of them being this sweatshirt, like they're, mm, I love it. So there's a couple of things I'm gonna keep for sure, like the jean jacket and um, is that really it? No, the bicycle shorts, all of the shoes, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep. Well, yeah, I'm gonna keep them because I have to do a wear test for all of them. So 
I'm gonna keep all the shoes. I was just not impressed though. I think what the problem was is it's stuff that I went out on a ledge to buy. I didn't, I don't normally buy these types of things. And so I went out on a ledge, like, you know, trying to do something different and it kind of backfired on me. Maybe that's why. I know Romway has a lot of like, t-shirts and shirts and they don't have like edgy stuff as much of edgy stuff as like what I tried on here so maybe that's why I'm not really sure I don't want to say you know pretty little things sucks you know I want to give it an actual chance but for right now I don't give pretty little things a thumbs up for my approval not that my approval matters like at all but like I just I don't give it a thumbs up in my opinion um you all are you know welcome to go and try what you want if you want to experience you know trying it out like for the first time just like I did go right ahead I don't want to stop you I'm just saying beware because the sizing is so freaking weird like so weird. So just beware, buyer beware. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. This is my haul. Thank you guys for staying and watching. I'm sorry that it turned out to be such a bummer. I wish it hadn't, to be honest. That's the honest truth of my pretty little thing haul and I wouldn't want to steer it and look any other way. So let me know if you liked this video. Subscribe down below if you would like to and if you want to see more of me. Like this video if you want to. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> Let me know what you would like me to do next, if there's any other hauls you would like me to do, or stores, or anything, honestly. I have, like I said, a really big haul coming up, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys so much, and if I miss anything, of course, I will put it in the video. Love you. Bye!